Double sound, please. Ready? Action. Well, I usually just say it's about the worst singer in the world, but it's much more than that. It's about a love for music, but a love of life, I guess, even more. She gave it everything. The film's a kind of celebration of that. The angel of inspiration, Madam Florence Foster Jenkins! <laughs> Florence Foster Jenkins is a singer, and she doesn't necessarily hit the right notes ever. She was a socialite. She was the ultimate club lady. She was a great patron of the arts in New York City. The story is set in 1944. The Second World War is beginning to draw to a close. There was certainly a shortage of money for artistic events. She would lay on these sort of amateur evenings of tableau and singing, and she kept their spirits up. Music is my life. And at this dark moment in our history, it matters more than ever. Bayfield, her husband, took care of her. For 25 years, I have kept the mockers and scoffers at bay. You see the work he does to protect her. She must never see this. So that she never gets to know just how bad she is. All the reviews are just terrific. Yeah. They had a pianist working with them who went by the very unlikely name of Cosme McMoon. That's me, sir. My character is the complete fish out of water in every respect. He stumbles into an audition and then hears her sing. There is no one quite like you. And of course he's caught in what is ultimately a lie. Mr. McMoon, do you think I'm ready? Sure. She thinks that she has the most beautiful voice, but people are finding joy in her singing for different reasons than she thinks they are. What makes it really amusing is how close she comes. She really means it. She meant every word of it. This is my favorite place in the whole world, and I'm going to sing here. It's just when it goes wildly off, that's when it gets hilarious. <laughs> Florence Foster Jenkins is both moving and funny. That's always a good combination if you can put those two things together. I just think this might be too much for you. If you truly love me, you'll let me sing here. So touching and so preposterous at the same time. I cannot play Carnegie Hall with Madame Florence. I think it's going to be something unlike anything anyone has seen. The lady is a lesson in courage, and that's why we love her. No one could have invented this story. Bravo, Madame Florence, bravo!